sometimes an infestation of parasites is so thorough and overwhelming that the host doesn't even get to keep its original name. In part one of today's episode, we explore the recent creation and destructive history of the word Judeo-Christian. I'm Darren Kalama, and this is the First Bible Network. Deconstructing the past to help you make sense of today. Time for another award-winning episode of Pre-Nicene Perspective with your host, Darren Kalama. Given how many famous people, institutions, presidents, religious leaders, social icons, and celebrities have invoked the name Judeo-Christian, you'd think it's been around for thousands of years, millennia, at least since the time of Jesus. It has such weight, bearing, power, and gravitas. Such a rapturous name surely must be the cornerstone of a great and historic spiritual awakening. Yeah, no, not really. In terms of religious significance, it's somewhere in the same zip code with Kwanzaa, and not much older than that. The etymology of the word and its earliest known use was in the 19th century, where it first appears in a letter from Alexander McCall. Don't worry, nobody else knows who he is either. The term in this case referred to alleged Jewish converts to Christianity, or conversos. Also around this time, the word Judeo was being slapped around on just about everything. Names like Judeo-German, Judeo-Italian, Judeo-French were commonly used to describe various things related to Jews. It was part of a growing movement. We hope you enjoyed the preview for part one of our series on Judeo-Christianity. And we invite you to watch the full episode commercial-free on PCTV at pre-nicin.org.